Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, a Pasadena youth shares the secret ingredient of passing California law. Free gear for the new school year. Plus, get on board to Catalina Island. But first, as part of the county's accelerated efforts to combat the homelessness crisis through an emergency declaration, officials have begun clearing homeless encampments. The effort, called Pathway Home, is seen as a pivotal step to cleaning up civic spaces and bringing homeless residents indoors. For the teams doing the outreach, the first step is building trust. Here's more. One of the main priority areas with the emergency declaration is encampment resolution. Um, and in Los Angeles County, our program is called Pathway Home. And today is the first day of Pathway Home. Today we are here at this encampment in the unincorporated area of Linux and in near the city of Inglewood. This is something special. Today we're going to be moving over 50 people indoors on a pathway to their own permanent housing. LASA's role is to work with everyone in the encampment and have them move out of their tents into a motel that's local. I got emotional, the folks got emotional because actually doing something for, for the homeless folks. There will be on-site services. There will be food provided for everybody, case management services, um, connection to any health, mental health, substance use services that they need, as well as getting them um, any benefits that they're eligible for to make sure like they have Medi-Cal for health care um, or CalFresh benefits or general relief benefits. Um, a very important part of what we're going to do today um, as well as we bring people inside is make sure that they have any documents that they need that will help them get permanent housing. Oh, okay. so, yeah, I left everything except for clothing and paperwork and medicine. I have because con that's all you're I have, bringing with you. I have congestive heart failure. Oh. So getting out of here is saving my life. Really important to go the next step in outreach, which is not only are we reaching out and inspiring people to accept services, but we're also saying we have something in hand that you need. Housing today, someplace safe for you to live, take a shower, and settle in to a new life path, and also a hope that they will then move into permanent housing. And I think that's what really gets people, is it's not just about moving today into a motel, but it's the long-term plan of moving them into permanent housing. That's the game changer. Zaki Munoz may only be 11 years old, but he's already created a big stir by helping pass state legislation to protect students like him from harmful food allergies in school meals. Meet the Pasadena youth on a safety mission. Well, today we're finally able to celebrate the Zaki Bill. Oh yeah! We are honoring Zaki Munoz, who was instrumental in getting Zaki's bill passed up in Sacramento. It's been signed into law by the governor and it is creating a resource guide for youth that are experiencing allergies to food. Zaki used his personal experience having to sit in the back of the room and having to have an EpiPen with him constantly and, and walking to the cafeteria to try to explain the seriousness because it's life or death. In first grade, I had two anaphylactic reactions. And after that, me and my mom decided to just look around the food allergy world. And then we realized that there was a big community with food allergies, but so little laws and other things to help us. So we saw opportunity help and we take it. We're all in this together and we want to take care of all of our children. And if they have a food allergy, they should feel safe coming to school, make, understanding that their teachers and their educators are going to take care of them. At 11 years old, there are many my age that have never been able to accomplish getting a bill written and then passed and then signed by the governor. So at 11 years old, he set the bar pretty high. I just felt like I wanted to do what's right. And I really wanted to help and make a difference for myself and other kids. A new traffic signal in Castaic is just what the community has been asking for to enhance safety at a busy intersection. Yeah. <laughs> Today we turned on a signal that's been in the making for since 2019. 
And this is really an intersection that when we've had emergencies has been greatly impacted. There was a stop sign here and the community was frustrated because of the backup. And so today is really um, celebrating the fact that first of all, Public Works got this done quickly um, and put in this signal that's gonna really change the traffic in the area. It's super cool what's going on. LA County Public Works is really um, using innovation and technology to serve the communities. And one of the things you see here, we're deploying a camera on one of the head spans there that allows us to monitor the traffic in real time. We actually send a signal, the video feed, back to Alhambra, our headquarters, and our traffic management center engineers in-house, they're monitoring the entire county system of roadway with these cameras to identify where there are either accidents happening or there's actually congestion, and we can manage the signal remotely. Well, this area has grown over the years. The population of the state and the county has grown along with the amount of traffic that we have on Interstate 5. It's become very necessary to have a phased intersections in both these locations. There's no question in my mind that these type of projects, we're gonna see more of them because as we have growth, we need to mitigate where there were stop signs and recognize that we need to keep up with the times and keep up with um, the needs of the people. It's back to school season and 600 lucky kids at Glad Hill Elementary received free backpacks to kick off the academic year. Take a look. Good morning. We are here at Gled Hill Elementary in North Hills. We're so excited to be in the third district uh, doing this wonderful backpack and supplies giveaway. There you go. What do you see? We're in partnership with my good friend Pilar Schiavo, our local assemblywoman who is leading us in Sacramento. We're working here together to make sure our families have the things that they need as they're going back to school. You know, it takes a lot from some people and some people really can't afford it. It's really good, helps everybody out, you know, keeps everybody on point when they have to go back to school. Pencils, markers. Are you ready for school? Yes. Are you excited about school? Yes. So many families are struggling just to make ends meet and the last thing we want is for them to be worried about if their kids have all the things that they need to be able to learn while they're going to school. So we're giving away backpacks, notebooks, pens, pencil cases, tabs, all those essentials. I want red. You want red? Okay. Oh, no, no, green. Green? Oh, beautiful. I love that one. You get the supply list, and we looked at that supply list. Oh, yeah. They love uh, getting a backpack and the school supplies they need for the school year, and uh, yeah, I think they're excited. Uh, the green highlighter and another blue highlighter. I'm really excited to make friends. I like STEAM lab, going to the STEAM lab. We love seeing our young people come in excited to learn, excited to grow, not worried that they're missing some of the things from their supply list, uh, just focused on all the fun that they're about to have, all the friendships they're about to make, and all the things that they will learn. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the scenes as we set sail from Long Beach to Catalina Island. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.